بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مرب زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the solutions of S2 variant 62 of March 2021. And for this, I am using the work of an outstanding, the most dedicated and my best student, Ms. Iman Anwar of class 2021, the Lyceum. All these instructions are very important, especially this last one, give non-exact numerical answers correct to three significant figures. Must follow all these instructions. An important advice, speak well or don't speak. Two important tips to solve the paper in a good way. Number one, read questions carefully. Number two, avoid careless mistakes. Question number one, a construction company notes the time T days that it takes to build each house of a certain design. The results for a random sample of 60 such houses are summarized as follows. Part A. Calculate a 98% confidence interval for the population mean time. To calculate the 98% confidence interval, we first need to find the unbiased estimates of population mean and the population variance. This is the unbiased estimate of population mean and with the help of this formula, we can easily find the unbiased estimate of population variance which is 82.0904. This is the formula for confidence interval. We have T bar Z is 2.326 because we are calculating 98% confidence interval. Therefore, the corresponding Z value should be 2.326. Sigma square is this and N is 60. This is the required confidence interval. Make sure you give your answer up to one decimal place. Part B. Explain why it was necessary to use the central limit theorem in part A. Because population distribution of times is unknown. Or you can say the population distribution is not normal. Question number 2. This question is for PDF. The diagram shows the graph of probability density function PDF of a random variable x. Find the value of constant k. You all know area under the PDF is always 1 because the total probability is always 1. So by using the area of triangle to 1 we can easily get the value of k. This is the area of this triangle and this area is 1. So k is 2 and k is positive. Part B. Using this value of k, find f of x for these range of values of x and hence find e of x. That is the mean. First, we need to find the gradient with the help of these two values. So, gradient is minus half and intercept is 1 with k2. Therefore, the equation of PDF is minus half x plus 1. We use this equation f of x mx plus c. This is the formula of mean. With the help of this formula, we can easily get the value of mean. So by multiplying x with f of x, we have this equation. By integrating this equation and applying these limits, we can get the value of mean, which is 2 upon 3. Part C. Find the value of p such that probability x lies between p and 1 is 0.25. This is so simple. This is the lower limit, whereas this is the upper limit. f of x dx is equal to 0.25. By solving this equation, we can easily get the value of p. We just need to substitute f of x here. Then we need to integrate this function carefully. And then we need to solve this equation with the help of quadratic formula. The value of p is either 2 minus root 2 or 0.586. Question number three, an architect wishes to investigate whether the buildings in a certain city are higher. Higher means greater sign. That means uh, he is looking for an increase in H1. Therefore, the test is upper tail, one tail and upper tail. On average, then buildings in other cities. 
He takes a large random sample of buildings from the city and finds the mean height of the buildings in the sample. He calculates the value of the test statistic Z and finds Z test is 2.41. Part A. Explain briefly whether he should use a one-tail test or a two-tail test. Because of this thing, this word higher, he should use uh, a one-tail test, the upper tail test. So one-tail test since he is investigating whether the buildings are higher. Part B. Carry out the test at 1% significance level. 1% means the corresponding Z value is 2.326. We just need to compare this critical value of Z with this uh, Z test. Before that, we need to mention H0 and H1. H0 means population mean mu for buildings in the city is the same as others. That means mu is same. And this means mu is uh, increase in the city is higher than other cities. Z critical is 2.326. Z test is 2.41. By comparing 2.41 with 2.326, we have this result. 2.41 lies in critical region. That means H0 is rejected. There is evidence that buildings in this city are higher on average. You need to accept this fact. Question number four. On average, one in 400 microchips made a certain factory are faulty. This means binomial distribution because we have two outcomes, good or faulty. And one in 400 means P. P is one upon 400. The number of faulty microchips in a random sample of 1000, this is the value of n, is denoted by x. So x follows binomial with n 1000 and p 1 upon 400. Part A, state the distribution of x giving the values of any parameters. So distribution is binomial with parameters uh, n 1000 and p 1 upon 400. Part B, state an approximating distribution for x, giving the values of any parameter. Since n is greater than 50 and p is less than 0.1, therefore the approximating distribution for x is Poisson with lambda 2.5, which is the mean of binomial distribution. So this is the answer of this part. Part C. Use this approximating distribution to find each of the following probability x4. This is simple. You just need to use the formula of Poisson distribution with lambda 2.5 and give your answer up to three significant figures. Then we need this probability. This is also very simple 2, 3, 4. We just need to find this, the probabilities of these three numbers with the help of Poisson distribution and give your answer up to three significant figures. Part D. Use a suitable approximating distribution, still Poisson. Find the probability that in a random sample of 700, now n is 700, therefore p will be 700 upon 400, which is 1.75. At least one means this thing. There will be at least one faulty one, at least one is 1 minus p0. Here is the probability. 1 minus probability 0. And the answer should be up to three significant figures. Next question, five. The volumes in liters of juice in large and small bottles have the normal distributions respectively. Part A, find the probability that the total volume of juice in three randomly chosen large bottles and four randomly chosen small bottles is less than 25.5. This is so simple. Three randomly chosen large bottle means 3L plus 4S is less than 25.5. We need this probability. First, we need to find mean and variance of this quantity, 3L plus 4S. Since these numbers are sums, therefore we must not square these numbers. We just need to copy 3 as it is and 4 as it is. This is the variance of L and this is the variance of uh, S. This is the total variance. So you can say this is sigma square. And this is mu. Mean is simple. 3 times mean of L, three, uh, 4 times mean of S. This is the value of mu. We need this probability 25.5. So 25.5 minus mu over under root sigma square. 
we need this uh, probability this is phi because we need larger area and this is the answer up to three significant figures part b find the probability that the volume of juice in a randomly chosen large bottle is at least twice twice means multiple of the volume of uh, juice in a randomly chosen small bottle we need this probability l greater or equal to 2s first you need to bring 2s on left hand side so we need this probability now make sure you will square this number in the calculation of variance for mean uh, you, ju you just need to use uh, mean of l minus 2 mean of s this is the value of mu but make sure you sub i mean you replace minus by plus and you must square this two because this two is multiple of s and variance is always positive that is we have plus sign here that's why we have plus sign this is sigma square and this is mu we need this probability so the number is this and you all know this is phi you, you already have done this in uh, s1 this is larger area and larger area is always phi so the answer is 0 0.695 question number six it is known that 8% of adults in a certain town own a C car. After an advertising campaign, a car dealer wishes to investigate whether this proportion has increased. So this uh, test is upper tail in which we have greater sign in H1. He chooses a random sample of 25 adults from the town and notes how many of them own a C car. This situation is binomial with N. 25 and p 0.08 part a he finds that four of the 25 adults own a c car four, this is the test value we need to perform the test at five percent so h naught means p is 0 0.08 and h1 means p is greater than 0 0.08 or you can write population proportion 0 0.08 population proportion greater than 0 0.08 you can either use this or this you have options now we need this probability we just need to check whether this uh, test value lies in critical region or not so we can find this probability with the help of this thing 1 minus 0 1 2 3 and this probability is 0 0.135 which means 13.5 percent and 13.5 percent does not lie here this area is of 5 percent this means 4 is not in critical region so you should accept h naught since this is greater than five percent therefore h naught is accepted hence there is no evidence that the proportion of adults owing c car has increased we just need to reject the claim explain which of the errors type 1 or type 2 might have been made in carrying out the test in part a since h naught was accepted therefore type 2 error might have been made type 2 error since h naught was not rejected or you can say h naught was accepted so when we accept h naught then type 2 error might have been made otherwise uh, when we uh, reject h naught then type 2 type 1 error might have been made in this case we accepted h naught therefore type 2 error might have been made later the car dealer takes another random sample of 25 adults from the town and carries out a similar hypothesis test at 5 percent significance level find the probability of a type 1 error the probability of type 1 error is the probability of critical region you just need to find the critical region c4 is not in critical region you, do, you should now check 5 so you can do this by trial and error method so let x be 5 so this probability is 4.51 percent therefore 5 lies in critical region 5 is here 
therefore critical region is 5 or more hence probability of type 1 is the probability of critical which is this an important advice for me and for everyone be selfless all the best and i'm extremely thankful to miss iman anwar who helped me to make this lecture she is an outstanding student and she is my best student may allah pak bless her always ameen and may allah pak give her the best grades ameen allah hafiz